if you are an examiner who is checking the copy and it is a mathematics optional copy then everybody do believe that they have to do least hard work right hello everyone in this video what we are going to do we are going to address two questions of the students or you can say two fears of the students that i encounter from my students most of the time they do ask me ma'am whether there would be step marking or another thing ma'am what is the scaling issue so these two things one is step marking step wise marking and another factor is scaling so what are these two things see nobody knows the reality is this one to be honest that nobody knows what is the scheme of upsc because upsc in public domain has never ever published that whether there would be step marking or how much of scaling there would be there would be but depending upon the experience of mine as well as some of my friends and the students who has been appearing for continuously means and analyzing their mark sheets of mathematics optional it is very much clear that there would be step marking so first thing can you take that risk no i would say no if you can avoid that thing that in the last statement you are committing some of the calculating mistake do avoid that because you we don't know that what is the step step wise marking is there or not but assume if it is there then keep yourself into the shoes of the examiner how that if you are one of the examiner then what would happen that if you are an examiner who is checking the copy and it is a mathematics optional copy then everybody do believe that they have to do least hard work right and that is why what is the criteria here if you do have mathematics optional copy first thing comes to into your mind, mind is let's check the answer whether the answer is correct or not the peop, the person would be checking the answer and at that time what would happen if your answer is incorrect then it would be psychological impact over the examiner ki bacche ka answer hi galat hai and can you imagine ki any of the examiner that would take that much of headache to check the entire paper कि आपका ये स्टेप ठीक है ये स्टेप ठीक है ये स्टेप ठीक है नहीं वो स्टेप वाइज नहीं जाएंगे दे विल चेक द प्रोसेस इफ योर प्रोसेस इज करेक्ट दे वुड बी मार्किंग यू ओनली हाफ ऑफ द मार्क्स इट इज नेवर गोइंग टू बी बियॉन्ड दैट इफ इट इज ए टेन मार्क क्वेश्चन इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट दे वुड बी अवॉर्डिंग यू नाइन नाइन मार्क्स की आपने सिर्फ लास्ट लाइन पे मिस्टेक किया है नहीं नो बडी इज गोइंग टू चेक दैट एंड दैट इज वाई up to your maximum level try to avoid the calculative mistakes at least but if you don't have anything that calculative mistakes bhi ho gaya question bhi nahi aa raha hai to anyhow you have to attempt that and you would be ending up getting at least half of the marks if the process is correct so this is the first thing second thing what about scaling so so see we cannot say that there should not be any of the scaling because you are going to be one of the administrator and there should be level playing field for each and every one and that is why with if you have to make the level playing field of the technical subject with the gs subject then general thing says that yes there should be parity between the subjects and that is why that scaling is the procedure of making the parity with, between technical subject and the humanities and for this parity you would be like ma'am क्या फायदा है अगर हम 500 में से 500 भी ले लेते हैं इवन देन हमारे नंबर तो कटेंगे ही कटेंगे बेटा कटेंगे बट इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट आउट ऑफ 10 मार्क्स इफ देयर वुड बी एनी हाउ स्केलिंग देन इट वुड बी समवेयर बिटवीन 6.5 टू 7.5 मार्क्स यू वुड बी एंडिंग अप गेटिंग 6.5 टू 7.5 मार्क्स एंड लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग इफ how i can say this one if it is not in the public domain because most of the students they have scored approximately 168 170 in paper 2 this is possible only if upsc is providing you more than 6.5 or more than 7 marks out of 10 
only then 70% marks would be this one if they are rewarding that means you are getting 70% of the marks but in gs and humanities out of 10 if you have written very excellent answer in an excellent answer only then you would be ending up getting 5 or 5 point marks because that's that that's where we do have psychological barrier and hence even after the scaling you do have a benefit of somewhere 2 or 3 marks and that is why the scaling is there but it is not the one who would be taking you to the back side no it is not like that and hence you would be ending up getting more marks from the gs subject so don't worry about the scaling because these are the factors that you cannot control and it is very well said about somebody someone that do control the controllables aapke hath mein nahi hai na to aapke hath mein scaling hai na aapke hath mein step wise marking hai and that is why don't worry about them if it would be there then it would be for each and every one and that is not going to see th- this is the beauty of competition you don't need to get the maximum marks you need to get the highest mark from the your competition aapka competition agar 5 number leke aa raha hai to aapko 6 leke aane hain chahe aap 500 mein se leke aao chahe aap 600 mein se leke aaye aur chahe chahe aap 10 numbers mein se leke aaiye so you don't need to do that excel that i have to achieve out of out marks no you have to score higher than their or than their your competitors higher than your other aspirants and that's it so don't worry about these factors because these are the factors that you cannot control and never ever do any kind of things or invest your time into the things that cannot be controlled so that is the that is my advice don't worry about these factors and prepare and practice whatever you can get into mathematics ex- mathematics optional chaliye then see you in the next video and फिर से मिलेंगे हम किसी और टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स के साथ ओके थैंक यू